What's going on guys? Welcome back to another audio assemble tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new favorite toy in the Pro Tools 2020 update and that is folders. I absolutely love it. It's it's a great way to compartmentalize and kind of keep my my sessions organized. I know it's not necessarily a new concept. Uh, I want to say Logic and maybe a couple other DAWs have already implemented something similar to this, but we're going to be focusing on Pro Tools today. So as you can see on my edit window, I have everything color coordinated. I like to keep all my tracks the same color, especially when it comes to drums versus bass versus uh, lead guitars versus rhythm guitars, acoustic, whatever it may be. I like to have them all organized when it comes to that so I can just scroll through and make sure I see the colors. Now, there's two ways to bring up a folder on your tracks. The first step for either of them is you have to select the tracks you want to do. So I'm just going to be selecting all of my drums. So kick through room and then the the first way that we're going to look at is you click track and just scroll down to move to new folder and there's two different types of folders the routing folder and the basic folder we're going to be focusing on the basic folder in this video in the future we will be taking a look at the routing folder and how cool that thing can be on your mixes uh, just to name it we're just going to do drums hit create and boom it is all there so one thing that i like too is it's it's kind of goofy how it's a different color than the rest of your tracks but you can double click change the color of it with that outline so it doesn't clash as much with it or you can leave it that way depends on your tastes of it all and then all you have to do to collapse it is you click this little folder icon right here it's also available on the edit window just click that and boom, you can see it collapses it down, really opens up your, your edit and mixing windows. Like there's way less to scroll through. I have everything visible to me. And you can still hear everything. Let's just throw it here. And another thing I like too is this also, this almost works as like a VCA master. You have the solo and mute. So you can solo and mute all of the tracks that are in this folder. So I'll hit play again, solo it, unsolo it, and then mute it. Absolutely love that. Uh, I like the controls being in like a condensed space. And the other way to bring up a folder that I mentioned we're going to go over. So let's do one for all of the guitars, just the electric and the leads. The second way to do it is there's the shortcut, which I'm sure you saw it when we looked at the track. So it is actually control, alt, shift, n. And I believe that's the exact same thing on Mac as well. So control, alt, shift, n and it brings it up there. We'll name this one TARS, hit create, and boom, they're all grouped together. Now say that you wanna get rid of the folder after you've set it up, you're scared it's gonna delete every single track. Uh, not to worry, it actually is super simple to get rid of. So you just wanna make sure you have only the folder selected, you don't wanna have all of your tracks selected, and you right click, and hit delete and you see some folders to be deleted contain unselected member tracks would you like to delete these member tracks or keep them you want to click keep and that keeps all of the tracks that you had doesn't delete anything except the folder selection but if you're wanting to delete everything in mass there's either you can have them all selected and then click delete and it says a folder and all of its members are selected. Would you like to delete all of these tracks? You can delete them all that way or click on just the folder, delete again, and then you can just select delete there rather than keep. All right, well, I hope you guys found this helpful and are able to use this in your future mixes. I know it helps me a lot whenever I'm going in to do my edits to keep everything organized like that. Leave a like and comment down below. Let us know about anything that you'd like to see in the future that we can help you out with. And make sure you subscribe because we've got lots more of this content coming. And make sure you check out audioassemble.com for all the latest reviews and comparisons.